What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter from Panda here. Hey, you might like going outdoors and exploring. So I bought myself a set of these. And if you're interested in this particular set, you might want to stick around because there might be a giveaway. And there might not, so you know, whatever. Uh, I think that's Panzel. Oh, it looks like it. it. Looks like the way I kind of sign my name. You know, so when you get your autograph pictures from me, well, be in a very similar font. What are they? Oh, looky, looky. It is. Lots of stuff in this bag. Pull it all out. It is. Hiking poles. So you go out trekking, you can have a set of poles that. Uh, stuff in here you know to help you kind of walk stabilize you know use arm uh, energy to help propel you so what we have here is a uh, one nice you know walking pole like I said stick around and man it's looks like it's all aluminum it's pretty light but it's pretty robust it's actually bigger like the grip here is bigger the pole is kind of thicker than I kind of expected. And as you can see, they're all tethered with like a tensioned nylon cord. So we're gonna snap the whole thing together and kind of go through it a little bit. You have this anodized aluminum look to this section. There's a little notch, you can see there, there's a little notch on this side and a little tab or detent right there. So I think that's how that guy gets guided in. Looks like that fits in there, pulls in, and then again, a little notch looks like right here, and the little tab on this pull right there, so you kind of just line that up, silver section, and it seems like they're all kind of lined up already. Notch right there, might not be the easiest thing in the world to see on the camera here, but I can see it. And that goes in just like that. And then you have the pull down here and a, uh, a rubber kind of foot down at the bottom. All This is all rubber down here. This is hardened plastic right up here. And it looks like you get an, an extra rubber foot so that if you want to replace this, looks like it just pulls off there. You know, if this ever wears out, you do have a second one here. Now, if I were to look at the bottom here without the rubber foot on, you can see you have kind of like a, a pointed end with a little kind of asterisk pattern there. And so I'm assuming maybe on a slippery surface, like ice or something, it seems like a little metal point, you could actually probably continue to use it, maybe without the little rubber foot. But that kind of presses on there. Oh, seems to be on there pretty, pretty tightly. And then if we kind of spin the pole around here, so now you see the rubber foot, plastic um, the uh, the aluminum here is slightly tapered to a point and then it thickens up up here and then obviously we've got that um, kind of blue section and then we get up to the grip itself and what we have here right here it's like some sort of kind of tightening latch so if I release that now I've taken off the pressure off of it. Oh, look at that. And it's extendable. So that's what that does. You can extend it. Looks looks like to 120 centimeters. So if you want it at a specific length, you kind of have this quick release here. So I can pu push it all the way back down to that length. Flip that down. And it's tight. It's so tight that if I pull on it, I'm just kind of pulling those sections apart again. You have a velcro strap right here that kind of holds the whole thing together when it's um, you know in its travel form but it looks like it just wraps up there and then you have you know, like a foam type of grip you know there's some obviously some round cuts around the handle that should give you a nice traction but it's it's pretty rough it's pretty coarse uh, but it feels a lot like uh, you know like felt tabs that you mount pictures to the wall with that kind of that kind of material a little bit you know kind of like a high-tech cork and then you actually have a, a pretty shaped pistol grip here I 
kind of swinging around this way. Back over the camera. So you have a pretty ergonomic grip right here. You know, flares out here to kind of support your hand. You get a little finger groove there. Uh, and then you have a plastic top at this end. And a little bit of dimpling up at the top there. And then a fairly generous wrist loop here. And that looks like it is a pretty heavy duty nylon stitched. And then on the inside here, you know, some sort of nylon, but it's much softer, a little more breathable. Kind of, kind of feels like a silk almost, but that should be nice to have around your wrist so that you don't lose your pull when you have your grip on the pole. And it's like it's all kind of pressed in there with a little wedge, so you shouldn't lose that. Now, up here, you have a couple of feet. So, you know, just like the, the flared boots on a ski pole, you know, these are going to be useful for different types of terrain. You've got a little smaller one here, which I'm sure is maybe a little bit better for, you know, your typical day hikes, kind of for all weather, dirt, sand. You've got some teeth on the edge here. You're going to take off that, that little rubber boot, slide this on, and then the boot will go back on the pole and that's going to hold it in place just like that. And then you also have this larger one, which looks like it's kind of more for mushy conditions. Uh, obviously it's much bigger than this one. And so this is going to help distribute weight out, especially if you're, you know, walking on, I don't know, something soft, soft ground, snow, those types of things, but a pretty large little plastic disc there. So I think this is pretty nice. I mean, in terms of a hiking pole, this is probably the most feature rich one I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, adjustable, comfortable, and then collapses. And probably I can show it here just how quickly it collapses back up. Just like that and then you can explore and hike with this pole out in the wilderness and I think it's gonna be a great companion check it out if you want one of these adjustable hiking poles I'm gonna put a link to it in the description and so you can pick one up on Amazon just like I did but if you want this one here's how it's gonna work I am going to create a Facebook post uh, of this video on my Peter Von Panda Facebook page. Just go to the description below on this video and follow the link to the Facebook post. And then go ahead and like that Facebook post. That like is what's going to get you entered into the giveaway. Now, um, people in the United States Canada are really going to be the only people eligible for the giveaway because that's where I can afford to ship it to. Uh, however, if you end up winning this and live somewhere else, if you are willing to cover the cost of the shipping of this pull to you, I will ship it to you. So, uh, you know, if you live in Canada or the U.S., all your costs are going to be covered. But if you don't and you still want this and uh, you and I get you the quote on the shipping and you want it and you will cover it, um, you know, we'll get it to people in other countries too. Because you know what? Outdoor exploration and enjoying a good hike is not limited to the U.S. and Canada. There are some great places though. And then on August 5th, 2017, that's a Saturday. I'll pick one random liker on that Facebook post to receive this and I'll reach out to you and make someone's next outdoor hike, excursion, and trek. Oh, that much more pleasurable. Peter Von Panda, out.